Okay, in this video, we are going to do a line integral of a vector field um, over a particular path that's given and the bounds are given, so it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing we want to do is remember that uh, to evaluate the line integral of f dot dr, what you actually do is you parameterize f, so you do f of r of t, and then you dot product with r prime of t dt, or in this case, r prime of theta d theta, I guess. Um, but I always have it memorized this way, so I'm just going to write it this way. So it's f of r of t dot r prime of t dt. So that's a first step. I like to write it down because it's easy to confuse this with a scalar line integral and just kind of have things go horribly wrong for you. Um, so let's, uh, let's do the problem. So we got to go from uh, our bounds are 0 to pi. Those are given. Now we got to find f of r of t and it's going to be a vector. So let's start a vector. First, I start with uh, x squared, but I know that x is two cosine t. Okay, so it's t in this case. I don't know, I'm all over the place. I wrote thetas when I actually solved it. So it's gonna be uh, four cosine squared of theta. And then uh, we have an xy, and x is still two cosine t, y is two sine of t. So this is going to give me two cosine t or theta times two sine of theta. Okay, so that's uh, parameterizing f, so that's f of r of t. Now I need to dot product with um, r prime. So r prime, the derivative of two cosine of t is negative two sine of t, or theta, and the derivative of two sine of t is two cosine of theta, because I decided to change the variable. Um, and then uh, d theta, because that's what I'm using here. And this is a really disappointing line integral, or at least I always find it disappointing when this happens because it's a lot of work to get to this point. So it's zero to pi. And then uh, when we dot product, we multiply this and this, and we get negative eight cosine squared theta sine theta. And then when we multiply this and this, we get positive eight cosine squared sine theta. So if you look at that, we actually just got zero for our integrand which means that all of this work was kind of for nothing, but we didn't actually know we were gonna get zero until we did the work. But anyway, the value of this line integral is zero. So that's our final answer. Uh, it's a short one. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.